So guys, in this video, I want to talk about how you becoming the best version of you and not trying to chase women will actually get you more women. So guys, it's very popular, this whole red pill thing and this whole MGTOW thing that is just sweeping the nation, if you will. And I say it's a great, basically it's a great awakening that is happening where guys are kind of realizing just the dynamics of how we were almost feminized, if you will. We were basically feminized growing up and we kind of lost our masculine edge. I'm not going to go too into detail about feminine energy, masculine energy, but I am going to basically give you kind of like an understanding on how to apply this so that it could probably help you with your dating life, your sex life or whatever. The key thing to remember or one of the key lessons that I want to teach in this video is that you should never chase women. And I know that sounds counterproductive. If you are a guy who basically are attracted to women and you want to get women, or even if you're diving into the whole red pill game because you want to learn how just social dynamics works, it's, it can be all very beneficial, but also very misleading. Okay, a lot of guys think that, okay, once I ignore women, they're just gonna like me just because everyone wants what they can't have. And, and although that may be true, it's not really always the case. Because no matter how good-looking a guy is, or no matter how successful a guy is, or even how hard to get a guy is, it's not always going to attract every single female. Because again, yes, beauty is in the eyes of a beholder. Or beholder, not beholder, like no actual bee eyes or shit. It's a beholder, one, one E after the B. Whatever. The reason why you shouldn't chase women is because it gives off the energy that you're needy. Alright? And from my experience, from what I've seen, and even from what I experience myself when girls are needy towards me, it's just unattractive. No one likes the feeling of having to be the savior of someone's insecurity. It's such a huge turnoff when somebody just gives off that vibe where it's like, I need you, I need you so much, and my life would be shit without you. It just, it seems so gross, you know what I mean? Nobody wants that emotional baggage or that that emotional responsibility to have to make you feel good, all right? So that's one of the main things that you got to realize. High value women, especially, are not going to be attracted to neediness. So just keep that in mind, all right? Every time you have this energy of neediness, you're going to repel away. You're going to repel high value women. Now, can you attract low value women with that neediness? Yes, you can. You can and you most likely will attract low value women with that type of neediness. And what is low value women? It is basically women who needs validation through guys, okay? Low value women are gonna want that validation. They're gonna want to feel wanted. Or they're gonna want to feel beautified verbally from guys. They're gonna wanna hear like, I, I do look pretty, thank you. Oh, I think I like you because you're nice. You know what I mean? There are some low value women who are turned, not really turned on, but they are attracted to to neediness, they they want that ego boost because they don't have that that validation in themselves that they're enough. So an example is a guy like basically if you are not red pilled yet, or if you are low value and you are needy, then you are gonna be attracted to women who well not really attracted, but you're gonna be easily succumbed to these women who are validating you. Okay, if you feel like you can't get women and you want women. If you're in that needy mindset, women who validate you are going to be attracted to you. You're going to be like, ooh, they actually like me. I think I like them too now because it is something that is attainable for me. It is a reality that I can get rather than, rather than actually leveling up yourself and attracting women that you deep down truly want to have, which is a high value woman. So every time you have that mindset, guys, every time you are chasing women, every time you're trying to want women or get women, you're needy. Okay, you're needy and you're acting like a low value man. Thus, you're not gonna attract high value women who actually have stuff going on for them. You're gonna attract women who need that validation, who live off of that neediness that you have. So fellas, do not be needy, do not chase women. I actually talk about this in another video is to actually chase the best version of yourself. So instead of like having it as a priority to, I wanna, I want to learn MGTOW, I want to learn Red Pill so that I could attract women by not trying to attract them. Instead, 
chase the best version of you. What are you passionate about? What do you, what do you love learning about? What do you want to do for the rest of your life, career-wise? How are you going to monetize that? Learn that game. Learn how to do that. Become that best version of you. Become the highest person in fitness that you're able to become or even the best self in your business or even elevating your finances, your, your career or whatever business you are doing. Learn that game, okay? Become high value in that aspect. And trust me guys, high value women will naturally see that. They will see how you have something going on with yourself. They're gonna see how you love yourself, how you put yourself more as a priority than finding the next chick or trying to find an easy lay. They're gonna see the value that you put on yourself, the ethic that you have on yourself. And then when they see that, they're actually gonna see a provider. They're gonna see someone who who has passion, who has integrity in, in their self, really. And that high value woman is gonna see that and they're gonna be attracted to you because you are also high value. And I, I, wanna, I wanna stress this enough that high value men give off alpha vibes. And I wanna say that alpha vibes is being a man who is, I wanna say integrity is one of the key things, but also a provider, okay? Whether women like to admit it or not, all women want a man that is able to provide, okay? They don't wanna feel like they have to provide for the family that you guys are gonna to have together or provide emotionally, financially. They don't wanna feel that obligation, okay? And nowhere am I saying that men always have to provide and women are just the receivers of the dynamics in a relationship. I'm not saying that at all, all right? Chill. But generally, naturally, a woman wants to feel secure in that man. So guys, I hope you guys got something from this video. I hope that it was very informative, if you will, for you guys who are just learning the whole process of this, bettering yourself, self-development. And yeah, again, guys, it's all about creating the best you as possible before you even try to attract women in the first place, okay? Create the best you possible, become the best you, and naturally, you will attract the right type of female. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Comment down below, let me know what you think, if you got something from this, or even if you got stupider from watching this video, comment down below, I wanna know. All right, it's gonna help this channel a lot if you do all of those, and also subscribe, definitely do that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, whatever you are going through, strive to be better, F the average, and be yourself. As always, God bless you, and have the best day ever. I, 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 I,